Hello and welcome back to my F1 2021 Williams RTG career mode here today for the second round of season 3 for the Portuguese Grand Prix it's the first time we're going to Portugal in this career mode it's at the time of recording it had just been added but so we're still getting used to the track the first lap wasn't great as you can see we're starting dead last tried to go went for another lap we we're up on our time by quite a bit up to the line but we stayed at the back here's a grid good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas the fin starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row looking down the rest of the grid we have Gasly Verstappen Carlos Sainz and Norris Perez Leclerc Ricardo and Yuki Tsunoda Russell, Vettel, Esteban Ocon, and Joe, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Brown, and Nikita Mazepin, Lundgaard, and Mick Schumacher. And now it's time so to head got down to the track. In the end, great result for Gasly in qualifying P3. See if we can convert that. We're going to do a two-stop from from soft to medium, back to soft. So the five lights come on. So, Portuguese Grand Prix. They're out and we're underway. Two Mercedes get away well. It's like a good start there from the Red Bull. As we're just trying to try and bide our time. As one of the Aston um, Alpha and Romeo has sent it down the inside. But that's a back out one with taking full advantage of that. Try to go to the inside. Now, down the inside of Lance Stroll. And now try and go around the outside, but we've lost out to. The Alfa Romeo again, so we're just going to sit here in the slipstream and now send it down the inside. Drop down on them too. Now can we attack the Alpines? Through it. This sort of up and down sections through the roller coaster because this track is, in, it is incredible. Can we get past Esteban, Esteban Ock on here? Down the inside, yes, we do. And we're up into P13 as a stroll has overtaken Esteban Ock on, and we get past Guan Yu Joe. But Guan Yu Joe's coming back at us now into turn one. We keep the line round the outside and keep him behind us for now here we go then he's gonna try again this time he looks like he's got the run we're gonna push him right to the pit wall and cut back over and he's got us but we keep a pin round the outside and keep that position and now large stroll is right on the back and he's got the popcorn out so we have a little moment there of oversteer that's going to hurt us here, down into turn 4 as there's Guan Yu on our inside and we try and defend round the outside we're still there, Lance Stroll's here if anything happens to us too as we're side by side and now we've pushed Guan Yu wide and Lance Stroll's gone thank you very much indeed and nearly, also nearly Gaining two places on us there, but he couldn't quite get the exit. Grand New Joe's got past us. Stroll's trying again on us, but we just about stay ahead of the Canadian for now. But here comes Lance Stroll. He's up the inside of us. That Mercedes engine, both Mercedes powered, of course, has got him ahead, and that was just too much to trying to defend. The Aston Martin. But it's time for the pit stops now as the big front runners make the pit stops. You can see Pink Gasly there has overtook us and now Lewis Hamilton is all over the back of us as well. As we pit then at the end of lap 13, where are we going to come out? Because those behind us are trying to do the undercut. So we'll see what happens as I decided to go to switch 
to the one stop for this Grand Prix for this race after doing originally planning to do the two stop but we didn't have that much pace and we were just going to fall behind and I didn't think we'd have the pace to to catch up and you can see there we've come out ahead of the lights of Ocon who we were battling and now Pierre Gasly who's been running in a great P3 and what would have been a great result for the team if the engine hadn't have given up for him that's such a shame for him because that was that was some lap in qualifying but now here comes Giovinazzi on us we defend to the outside of the Italian he's really looking for a good result after um, Imola and he's trying again here and Ocon he's having a little having a little look now as well what can he do so we've pulled out from away from Giovinazzi a little bit and now Ocon we're seeing his chance to get past the Alfa Romeo and he's taking it with both hands as down the inside he goes but Giovinazzi is not going to give up yet as he gets pushed wide and Ocon does get the job done in the end and now Ocon's on the back of us and we've we've defended one Alpine for a long time let's see if we can do the other one but that's an absolute joke of straight line speed with the DRS open and Ocon was absolutely just blown us off the track there that's that's incredible no words for that he's just Alpine was like an absolute rocket with um, DRS there as we have a massive oversteer moment the tyres there just didn't want to grip up and we've lost out and to Giovinazzi there and this is turning into a very miserable weekend we haven't really achieved anything here but the car fingers crossed hasn't had any issues as Max Verstappen was leading and here comes Bottas with just three laps to go takes the lead of the Portuguese Grand Prix that of course in real life he got pole on and then fell backwards in the race and we actually get lapped for a by um, Valtteri Bottas just two laps later because we were we were just on our own so Valtteri Bottas wins and we're coming home for a very shocking P16 So after a magnificent race we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium Once again it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot A well earned victory for Mercedes So it may have been a second and third But after they've hit each other last time at Imola That's a good result for Red Bull I think they'll be happy with that The championship then you can see here and the constructors Mercedes winning George is absolutely carrying us right now but we would have got some good points if it wasn't for the engine in Imola but that's been this episode I hope you enjoyed it in the next one we head to Monaco so hopefully you can get some points on the board there but I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one